What's up guys, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this Christmas stocking post for you guys using Dollar Tree items. The only thing that's not from Dollar Tree is the um, the wood itself. And you guys know I buy that from Home Depot for like $2. So if you want to see how I made this, keep on watching. So you guys know I'm always using this piece of wood. It's for $1.93. Some stores, has uh, they have it up for $1.98, but it's the eight feet long. Um, I believe it's a stud and they cut it for free at Home Depot. So I had the man cut it down in half. So I will be only using four feet today. So technically this project, the wood, it's only a dollar. You will also need this picture frame that holds three photos, I believe four by sixes. Um, these self-adhesive hooks, I believe they have silver as well. Silver would look great on this project since I'm focusing on white and silver. This picks, um, these picks, I'm sorry, they're not out at Dollar Tree yet. I have this from last year, but you can definitely wait until they bring them out again. And then shower rings. I'm using the clear one and these hooks I purchased from eBay. I just have them at home and this, um, spray paint from Walmart, 96 cents, snow white, um, acrylic paint. And we're also going to need this bracket from Dollar Tree. You can find this by the garden section, probably if they're still out there, hopefully they still have them, but you're also going to need your hot glue gun and your E6000. So what I did first is I took the spray paint and I sprayed the bracket and the picture frame the frame itself. Um, then I went in with the E6000 and hot glue and put the glass back in there. That's all we're going to need. We're not going to need any of the backing of the frame. So it's just the glass. And now I'm going to go in with my snow white paint and I'm going to um, paint the entire wood. Remember you guys, the wood, it depends how clean it is when you buy it. Sometimes it might need some sanding. So if it does, go ahead and sand it down a little bit and then go ahead and paint it. And then um, for the bottom of the post, I have some wood samples. These are completely free at my Home Depot. So I grabbed four and then I glued them together. I forgot to mention that on the supply list, but that's okay. So I glued them together using E6000 and I set that aside to dry. Now for the bracket, after I painted the wood and the bracket spray painted, I'm going to leave some space from the top of the wood and I'm going to glue the bracket using E6000. Once that's dry, I'm going to take my hooks and um, I'm going to peel the back. So I'm going to try to take as much foam as I can off of the backing so the E6000 can hold on to the hook itself properly and nicely and won't fall off. But you guys, I want you to realize that Christmas, of course, tons of different colors. Here, I'm just showing you an example of white and silver because I wanted something white white in my house, but um, you can definitely do this red and gold, Any, I mean, any color you want. And um, I understand Christmas, I mean, make it fit your own decor. <laughs> I'm just showing you the idea and then you gotta make it match with your style. So now, as you can see, I didn't take, I didn't get 100% of the foam off, but that's completely fine. You're just going to go in with your E6000 and you're going to glue it around the wood, the wood piece, but you're not going to put anything under the, the bracket because that's where your frame is going to go. So nothing on the right side, you're going to focus on the left and the center. Now I'm going to use E6000 and put some on the bottom of the wood piece and put it on the wood samples and that's going to be its stand. Now for the frame, I was going to originally you guys put this um, happy holiday stickers but I ended up changing my mind in the end but um, oh I forgot to mention that I glued on the hooks on the back of the frame using my E6000 because that's how the curtain rod, not the curtain rod, oh my goodness, the curtain rings are going to hang on to the frame using the little hook so i have three curtain rings on each hook and that's how we're going to hang them onto the bracket what i want to show you also is that for the curtain rings try not to have the opening in the front we don't want it to look like curtain rings of course so you're going to have them like overlapping each other and have the opening touching the other ring do you know what i mean does that make sense like you see it here you don't want the opening to be facing the front 
now disregard the mess you guys <laughs> i'm just working on a random piece of paper but i grab my pick and i'm going to decorate the back of the frame now i'm just going to go in with my hot glue gun and glue them onto the frame So you guys, I just added a little decoration. I put the letters, um, this alphabet stickers, let it snow, and then the snowflake I had from last year, yes, from the Dollar Tree, but they don't have them out yet. So I just stuck that onto the frame and that's it. There it is, you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and um, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great ideas like this one and very affordable. So, um, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to let you know that in the bottom, I know it looks a little empty, but I'm going to add reindeers and uh, ornaments later on when Dollar Tree has them. So I put in this snow that I had from last year, and you guys can see I added a little bit of ornaments, but I might make like, like a little village down there with little reindeers and people, but um, I'm still waiting for Dollar Tree to get more things out. But I did find one of these snowflakes from last year and I put it in the back of the frame and I think it looks sort of nice but they need more in the back but I'll wait on that as well but definitely give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs see you all next time bye